So as almond growers, we have the opportunity to create our own destiny in a world where people care more about where their food comes from and how they grow it. And the best thing we can do is actually support our, our beekeepers and honeybees and native pollinators. And to do that, we all should be planting cover crops. Bee Friendly Farming is a program that works with farmers to protect, preserve, and promote pollinator health. It also works to balance the crop production and the health of pollinators. So almonds is probably the best plant-based protein that anybody can eat. And really, we need the bees. We need the honeybees to, to actually pollinate it and provide that to the world. And, and besides bees, what's good for bees is good for butterflies. And what's good for butterflies is good for ladybugs. Almond blossoms are incredibly attractive to honeybees. And they're also incredibly nutritious for honeybees. But adding a cover crop provides more diverse nutrition and more lures into the orchard to keep the honeybees here and get the most return on investment from your pollination dollars. By becoming a certified bee-friendly farmer, you're gonna be promoting healthy pollinators and also abundant food supplies. Being certified is a way for an almond grower to get recognition for the good work that they do in terms of how they manage uh, their orchard. So it's a way um, to get recognition at the consumer level. You can put the Bee Friendly Farming logo on your farm and on your product. And a great way to add value at the marketplace for, for the value that you add for bees on your farm. You'll be joining 800 other farms that have already certified and are a network of essential sustainable agriculture. There have been some other great benefits to growing the forage also though. Um, the clover of course is nitrogen fixing and is adding to the soil health. And I've actually found that they suppress a lot of the problematic weeds in the orchard that I've been dealing with over the years. It's also a really great choice if you're worried about frost or biomass during harvest because it's really easy to manage. It doesn't get as big as other cover crops. But it still has all great, the great benefits, such as um, increasing the organic matter of your soils and outcompeting weeds and giving habitat for beneficial insects. An important part of the Bee Friendly Farming program is that the practices that we promote are like a checklist for sustainable farming. They really will make a difference, not just for the pollinators, but for your farm. So the practices that are required to become a Bee Friendly Farm are right in line with the practices that we promote through the California Almond Sustainability Program and through our Orchard 2025 goals. So there's great alignment. CAST can give you many of the tools that you need to check the boxes and to become a bee-friendly farmer. So we've been working with the Pollinator Partnership to define very specifically which CASP questions that growers can assess their practice and how those line up so that if you've answered these questions, uh, the idea is that you will then um, be fully um, able to certify as a bee-friendly farm. The criteria to become a bee-friendly farmer includes Offer forage providing good nutrition for bees on at least 3% of the land. Forage can be temporary, including crops and cover crops. Provide bloom of different flowering plants throughout the growing season, especially in early spring and late autumn. There is no minimum land coverage for seasonal bloom. Offer clean water for bees. This could be from irrigation canals and pumps, natural water elements, or provision of supplementary water sources. Provide habitat for nesting through features such as hedgerows, natural brush, or buffer strips. Practice integrated pest management. Reduce or eliminate the use of chemicals. A good example of this is following ABC's BBMPs. Pay the annual $45 certification fee. Complete the compliance form once every three years. I know it can be daunting to think about all these different practices, but really there's an easy way to fit it into your program and make it personalized for you. And I think you'll see a lot of great benefits.